one, so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to get the main creepy white walker dude um, from Game of Thrones look. And I um, was totally inspired to do this look by a makeup artist named Robert, and I don't know if I should say his last name, and I can't even pronounce it if I wanted to, but Cinema Makeup School, he attends the school, and they posted a picture of his airbrush final, and it was so cool, and the dimension on the neck was just amazing, so I was like, I want to try that, practice it, and I was practicing, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do a tutorial doing it, because I know a lot of you guys would like to see how I recreated this. So totally inspired by him if you want to check out his Instagram link will be in the down bar below he's under father Graham, and he's really really talented guy so I'm gonna let this tutorial begin please give it a thumbs up if you like it giving it a thumbs up helps my tutorials do well and make sure you subscribe if you aren't and every Wednesday I'm gonna be putting up creative looks and on Saturdays wearable looks so this Saturday I'll have a wearable look up for those of you who hate Halloween all year round how can you hate that anyways I'll let you guys go Start the look off by painting your face white. Avoid painting your eye area white, you want that area to be black. Apply the white face paint with a light hand and then go back with the white face paint and make sure the areas that aren't going to be painted black and gray are very white. So that's around your eyes, mouth, cheekbones, around the temple and forehead. Making these areas very white is going to help it look like it's protruding. Use a black eyeshadow to start shading the look and creating details. Apply the shadow to every single area that you want to give depth to so it appears hollow or sunken in. Apply the shadow to the edges of those areas and then let it fade out. This will give serious depth to your look so your eyes look more sunken in and your cheekbones appear more like they're really protruding. Use the black shadow to create wrinkles as well that are darkest near the edges and fade out. Just Google White Walker and you can use one of those pictures as a reference picture and you'll see exactly what you have to do. But you can see right now, like I'm just creating little strokes using the black eyeshadow. Now you're going to do a lot of blending and a lot of creating wrinkles. So use your white face paint to start creating little strokes that are under the black eyeshadow and you mix the two together and you're basically like creating wrinkles. And then I go back with the black eyeshadow and create little wrinkles around the white parts of the face that are protruding. You don't want this look to look clean at all. Like in, by no means do you want this to look clean. You're going to have to go back and forth with the white face paint and black eyeshadow a lot to get the perfect wrinkles, the perfect shading, um, and then like the little wrinkles around the white parts of the face, you want to make sure again that they're darkest at the outer edges of those wrinkles and then they fade so it looks hollow and it gives it just a lot of depth. You're going to create wrinkles around the nose, around the mouth, under the mouth. The wrinkles under the mouth, you want to make sure they curve to the top of the mouth. Make sure you create those two little curves or wrinkles, whatever you want to call them, where the brow is so the brows appear very prominent, like he has legit prominent eyebrows, which are going to help your eyes look sunken in. And in the hollow areas of the face, you got to make sure you're creating little strokes again in that area that kind of look like wrinkles or veins. I'm not even sure what you want to call it. And around the nostril, you're going to go ahead and use your black face paint to draw on the nostrils that are very similar to him. Again, just keep referencing a picture because that's really all I can tell you for this look. I can give you the basics of what I used and go over what I did, but for the majority of it, it's just constantly going back and forth using white face paint and black shadow to create the wrinkles, the veiny looking things. I like to save painting the mouth toward the end because I like to drink while I film and by drink I mean like Coca-Cola, I'm not sitting here getting drunk, but yeah, I paint my mouth kind of toward the end. And then I go ahead and start painting the neck and you paint the neck the same way you paint the face except I used a gray face paint so I mixed the black face paint with a white face paint to create a gray face paint and I use that as the base color for each hollow area just because the neck areas are just so much bigger than your face and you have to paint a larger portion so it's easier just to use paint and then go ahead and use the black eyeshadow to start adding the details and that fade that creates that gradient effect and lots of little wrinkles and again I want to say the neck was totally inspired by Father Grimm on Instagram um, Robert I loved absolutely loved the neck the, the neck was so awesome to create something like that with airbrush it was just like oh I wanted to try it and I didn't do it justice but um, I'm pretty proud with what I accomplished I chose to paint on top of my eyelid white walkers eyeball so you don't have to do this because you might have blue eyes or maybe you can wear contacts but I hate it so I went ahead and used the blue white and an aqua blue all from wolf 
to create the colors I needed for the look. And you want around the eye to be black, again you want it to fade, so darkest black should be near the brows and then it kind of fades around the eye. And then for my hair, I ended up painting my hair white because I didn't have white hairspray. Finally, the beard. I used eyelash glue to adhere pieces of fake spiderweb I had left over from Halloween that I cut up. If you don't have fake hair or a fake spiderweb like I did, use a piece of cotton ball and just tear it up and you can use that as your beard hair. That's it. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you like. It really does help my videos do well. And my next tutorial will be out this Saturday and it will be a wearable look. So see you guys then. Take care. Bye.